So to start our clay uh, character project, we're going to have to develop our um, character. Okay, the way we're going to be doing this is with this activity. Um, the first column here, you're going to be selecting an animal, and I want you guys to pick a land mammals only. So um, what explains uh, the type of animal that's a mammal? They're warm-blooded. They have fur or hair. Uh, they uh, give birth alive young, and they produce milk to feed their young. So that's what the characteristics of a mammal. So think about the animals that you're selecting, and if they fit that criteria, then they are a mammal. Okay. So uh, I'm going to fill up my animals. I'm going to say dog. I'm going to do a cat, <clears throat> a lion, do a wolf, a llama, and a ferret. A two R's ferret. Okay. Um, so that's my list of animals. Try to pick um, more. You can pick. Uh, more interesting animals. Uh, just I'm doing these just because they're kind of easy to think of. Uh, you can go online to find a mammal generator, a random mammal generator, and it'll give you a, a ton of examples of different mammals. Okay. Next thing here is we're going to be looking at our adjectives. So adjectives are descriptive words or describing words. Uh, you want to pick describing words that are going to be able to show on our character in clay. And remember that for our character, we're only going to be making um, a bust. So we're going to only be making like a um, head, neck, and torso. Okay. So you want to make sure that your adjective can show in a head, neck, or torso and can be described and, and created using clay. So um, emotions are good, colors are good, um, you know, patterns are good. So I'm going to go sad, angry, purple, color could be an adjective, polka dots, evil, I think I could probably show evil, um, and curly. Okay, and then the last one here, you're going to pick a clothing type or time period. So you could just make a list of different types of clothing, like a shirt, a hat, um, you know, tuxedo. You could also do a time period of clothing. So you can do like the 60s, so it'd be like tie dye. You can do 80s, 90s with neon. Uh, you can do the 70s, like a disco kind of a thing. Um, or um, you can pick a job. So like if your character going to be a doctor, are they going to be a firefighter, a cheerleader, that they have like a costume that kind of goes with, or an, a, a, a uniform that goes with their um, job. So I'm going to say that I'm going to pick um, retro 60s. It's like hippie kind of. Okay. I'm going to do 80s. Um, I like 90s neon. Steampunk is also a fashion style. Steampunk. Uh, I'm going to put just regular clothing, so a top hat, a uh, tuxedo. If you're picking something like an accessory, like a top hat or a tie, I want you to still pick something else that's going to be able to have clothing on your character. So we want to have um, our character fully clothed, so they should have like clothing on. So even if I pick just a bow tie, I still want there to be other clothing here. So I have to pick more than one thing. Um, like if I just picked a top hat for my hippo and he had no clothing on, he still needs to have something to wear. So think of that as far as when you're, you're deciding your, um, deciding what to pick. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to combine these items and these animals with the adjectives and the clothing to try and come up with our original characters. So if I'm going to look at my dog, maybe my dog is sad and maybe he's purple. Okay, so I can pick more than one adjective. And then maybe my dog is also wearing steampunk. Okay, so I can change my color or I can just try to keep track of what I'm doing. Um, maybe my cat is angry and then my angry cat is wearing 1990s neon. Now let me go down here. Maybe my llama is, has curly hair and maybe he's wearing retro 60s clothing. Okay, So we're going to keep on going. Let me do wolf. Maybe my uh, ferret. Maybe my ferret is evil and he's wearing a steampunk outfit with a top hat. Okay, so once you have, I'd like you to do the whole left side, all the animals, and then you're going to come up with your top three combinations. So I think that I'm going to go with my angry, my angry cat 
in 90s neon. Combo two is my evil ferret with steampunk top hat. Steampunk and top hat. Okay. And let me do one more. Let me do, how about my lion? My lion is going to be polka dots. And uh, he can be wearing a top hat and a tuxedo. Okay. So then my, my polka dotted lions. Polka dotted lion in a tuxedo and top hat. Alright, so that's the top, the first uh, side of the page. We're gonna, um, you want to have the whole side done, so I want all the animals and all the adjectives and stuff going across. As you can see, you can pick more than one adjective, you pick more than one um, clothing style. Okay, um, and then uh, we're gonna do now the back. For the back of our handout, what we're going to start to do is I have all of my combinations from the front. I pick, I, I pick my best three combinations, so those are on the back here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to sketch them out. Okay, so um, how I would recommend you do this is you could turn your paper sideways to give yourself more um, vertical space. And the way you're going to start is you're going to start with this basic kind of shape. It's like a dome. For the shoulders, a little bit for the neck, and a circle. Okay, so this is the base basic shape for all of our characters. Okay, and then we're gonna build off of this. Okay, but based on the fact that we're gonna have a, a we're gonna make a bust is a head, neck, and shoulders this is kind of a good starting point shape. Okay, to work off of. Okay, all right. So I'm looking here um, at my polka dotted lion in a tuxedo and a top hat. Okay. Okay. All right. So if I'm looking at a lion shape, I know that I'm going to have kind of a cat nose. His his face kind of comes a, a little side like that. His face is a little more round. Okay. His eyes are here. Okay. He has a chin that kind of goes like that. He's got more rounded ears, okay, lots of hair, okay, so I said he's wearing um, tuxedo on top hat, so I'm going to make his tuxedo, is going to come down like this, going to have like kind of a collar, button down, going to have a pocket with maybe a fancy square, okay, I'm going to erase this line in the middle, okay, Okay, so it looks like his neck is kind of coming into the the middle. Okay, and I say he's wearing a top hat. Tuxedo and a top hat. Okay. So, we're trying to work kind of fast. You know. I want to just get the idea of what I'm looking at as far as my character. Okay. Okay. All right, so lion, top hat, and polka dots. So maybe I'm going to put like polka dots on his suit. Maybe he's got some polka dots on his head. Okay, so that's my first character. Okay, my second character is my evil ferret <coughs> with steampunk and a top hat. Okay, <coughs> so ferrets kind of have like things kind of come a little bit more sideways. Their heads are a little more like pointy down here. They kind of come pointy down here. Their nose, they have the same kind of a nose. Okay. They have more circle-y eyes. Okay. You could absolutely look up um, the pictures of your character, but I want you to just kind of quickly kind of get the idea of this um, of what your character is going to be, just the, like the idea. So you decide if you really want to um, do it. OK. 
Okay, so steampunk is um, based off of like Victorian England styles. So I'm going to give them kind of a high collar. <coughs> okay, and there's going to be like a gears and stuff here, you know, kind of coming off of his coat because that's what steampunk is. Okay, and then, um, you know, he's going to have, and maybe his, his outfit is going to be like panels of clothing that are going to have like rivets and stuff. Okay, it's like riveted. Okay, and so that's more steampunk. Um, and you know, I think steampunk, they also kind of usually have like a monocle. It's kind of that kind of an idea, so maybe I'll give him that. And um, I'm going to say he's evil, so maybe I'm going to give him some crazy eyebrows. And he's like really angry. He's like, I think the monocle probably sells it too. Okay, so I've got my uh, evil ferret with Steve Pock in the top hat, and then my last one is my ang my angry cat in 90s neon. Okay, so like, yeah, you know what? In yeah, so you know what? Maybe I think I don't want my cat to be in 90s. I want him to be in 80s, 80s instead. I think I want to be in the 80s. So like, because the 80s has a little more um, iconic kind of look to it. So I've got my, my cat, got his eyes here. Okay. He said he's angry, so he's got those same kind of angry eyebrows. Okay. In the 80s, everyone had really big hair, so maybe this cat has like crazy huge hair. He's got really big hair. And then I'm gonna put him in like kind of a like a like a tracksuit kind of a thing was in the 80s. Kind of they had like tracksuits. So this is like a tracksuit. Tracksuit. Okay. My cat is here. Maybe my cat also has like had a headband on. Okay. Okay. So as far as our three sketches here, this is like this is as far as I want you to go for the sketch. And then I want you to pick your best one. Personally for me, I think I really like this ferret idea. So like this is the one that I'm gonna do. So once you have um, your three sketches done and you know which one you wanna do, you're gonna just kind of start it. And you're gonna go into Canvas and you're gonna take a picture of the front and the back of this handout and submit it to the assignment. Okay, that's, that's it.